risk master is someone who goes after a very big problem and takes long odds at an extraordinary outcome. They'll look at a problem that might affect people all over the world and they go after it with such energy and such enthusiasm that it becomes much more likely for them to overcome all the obstacles and make the world a better place for us. Every entrepreneur dreams big. Some just leave the atmosphere in <laughs> their aspirations. You know, this planet isn't big enough for them and they look beyond uh, to do something really magnificent. Growing up, Elon and I uh, were surrounded by entrepreneurs. Our parents were both entrepreneurs. Our grandparents were entrepreneurs. Uh, I don't think there was really any other option in our family other than to be an entrepreneur, to be honest. I mean, when I was young, we, we did a sort of a variety of things. I mean, we, 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 did, uh, we went selling chocolate door to door. We created a little business plan to create a, a video arcade. That got shut down by our parents. I, I think we would have had, actually made money, by the way, because we really understood what games <laughs> were, 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 were good. He took a, a, a test with IBM in South Africa, this was in, in the early 80s, and they basically came back to the family and said, you've got to get this guy a computer. I just started writing software when I was about 10 or so, and I just got some books and kind of taught myself how to write, write software. When I found out there was a machine you could actually program and create your own video games, that was really super exciting, because I love playing video games. I think when he was 11 or 12, this is in the early 80s, he wrote one of the top selling or top used uh, computer games and it was a game much like Space Invaders but for a, for a PC style product called the Commodore 64. It was prim just a primitive game you know, but I was able to sell it for several hundred dollars. I think Elon Musk looks at the world as it could be. How, how extraordinary could it be for all of us to rocket to Mars how could it be uh, if we all ran on power that was generated from the sun? How, how could it be if our cars went zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds? I'm more of sort of an engineer than, than an entrepreneur, and if, if I wanted to engineer the things that I liked, as opposed to sort of being told what to engineer, then it seemed as though I had to start the company and run the company. These companies are across diverse industries, automobiles, rockets, internet companies. He even started a software company when he was 12 and sold it successfully. So he has had three proven successes under his belt, three more that look like screaming home runs, if you include Solar City, where he's chairman. Um, I don't know of anyone on the planet who's had that string of success over such a diverse set of industries. I'm not sure when if Elon looks at a project and thinks that this is of any risk. Um, I think Elon looks at a project and says, I need to accomplish a certain goal. And is this goal achievable? And then he just gets the job done. If you'd said at the beginning of, the, of, of Tesla or SpaceX, what are the odds of success, I would say they're probably low. If I think the stakes are important enough, then, then I will do it whether I think the odds of success are high or low. What makes Elon the, the risk master is Elon has absolute conviction in his idea. He really believes that he can help some human civilization colonize Mars. He really believes that. To him, it's not a risk, it's just a matter of time. And I think that's the, that belief is what makes Elon the risk master. Elon Musk is the consummate risk master. He has gone after big problems in such creative ways that it's made all of our lives a lot better. I think Elon Musk is a national treasure. He is one of those rare individuals who is able to reinvent industry after industry and find success against all odds time and time again. Well, I must admit, I'm a bit of a closet Elon Musk fan. In fact, I find myself playing with his toys. Here we have the Tesla Roadster. And to scale, I believe, roughly to scale, a uh, Falcon 9 rocket, the large one, that should be launching first quarter of 2010. But this is one vision of the future of how we will uh, service the space station as the space shuttle retires next year. This is an electric car, as we all know. I think that's how the astronauts would come to their rockets and, you know, take off from Mars. <laughs> Which is how I play on my desk most of the time. Well, there is one more thing I'd like to do for Elon Musk before we give him this extraordinary award. Elon is the risk master. Drives fast. Rockets faster. Installs your solar panel master blaster.
He is the risk master. Go Elon, baby. You deserve it.